Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. The tired Papa Joe at that. This uh, regional stuff is running me. Oh man, I'm staying on top of my game. Let me unplug that. Plug my phone in. Staying on top of my game, but boy, oh boy, let's get it. I, uh, I get it. you see that thing? This truck, the driver before me had one of them steel balls that he put on the dash that's been coming out. So all I had to do was get the magnet part for my phone. I kind of like it. I put one on the tablet too, but I ain't tried it over here yet. I want to get another one of them and put it right over there for the tablet. But I haven't bought the ball yet, just the magnet parts. And the prices have come down quite a bit. Oh, man. Well, let's see. What do I need to do to update you? Uh, you know, I got loaded yesterday and it was heavy. I wound up all told, I put in over five hours getting that load right and getting out the gate. After I went back, it took them over two and a half hours to get permission to take one pallet off. I'm like, really? what permission I'm over gross but uh, they finally got it off of me which as y'all know that was time coming off of my 14 hours so uh, it tore me up pretty good I had a 12 o'clock appointment in Payetteville and uh, I made it. I actually got there just a couple minutes after 11, so about an hour early. They went ahead and just unloaded me. I'm going to put this window down now that he turned his truck off. Uh, I had uh, 180 miles still to do this morning. So I did that, kicked the load off, and they kicked it off pretty quick. Well, all of a sudden there in Fayetteville, it started snowing. Uh, I pulled a rookie, rookie stunt. I'll tell on myself. It's all part of learning, right? Or y'all learning. <coughs> you might well learn from my mistakes. The guy brought my bills out. And he's amazed that it's snowing. I mean, it was chilly. About 34, 35 degrees. And uh, he's like, dude, it's snowing. I said, like, yeah. So we talked and joked about that for a minute. And I took my bills. Pulled out. Closed my doors. Called my dispatcher to harass him. Talked to him a few minutes get on the interstate and I'm starting to truck it up for the yard I grabbed that paper and go to look at it they didn't sign it my bill's lading they didn't sign it i like you damn dummy so it's real close to the yard and I figured we might go there a lot so I called dispatch back and I asked them I said well I pulled a rookie stunt they didn't sign off on my bills. Do y'all know I'm good enough that you can work through this or do I need to turn around and go back? And he said, they're a pain in the butt. Turn around and go back. Damn it. Now, I'd only made it eight miles. But that's beside the point, you know. That closing the doors, pulling out, going eight miles, circling around, coming back eight miles, going in and have them turn around. It eats up your time, and I was in a hurry today. Hell, it seems like I'm always in a hurry being regional. Uh, so, 
I went back and got them signed. You do what you got to do. My fault. I shouldn't have let myself get distracted. I know better. Stuff happens out here trucking. I am period. Stuff just happens. But, uh, that cost me, I don't know, an hour. You know, more or less. All said and done. Because it's more than just eight miles. You got to get off and drive two or three miles off the interstate, deal with the lights and the traffic, and da 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 da. Yeah. It caused me more time than I should have had to put into it. I didn't let it ruin my day. I laughed at myself and called me a dumbass. Uh, got on up to the yard. I'd planned on doing my paperwork right there where I emptied out at my trip report. I jumped in the back. I had some uh, pork loin me and mom had cooked over the weekend. There is a video about that. You'll eventually get it. <coughs> and uh, we cooked that up. And I sliced some of that up and brought out here. Well, I made me three half sandwiches. You know, pork loin ain't that big, so you know. Tear a piece of bread in half and put a piece of pork loin on there, a little mustard. You got a sandwich. Well, I sat out there and I hadn't even ate the third sandwich, half a sandwich. When that guy came out, I'm like, well, damn. And he's like, I hurried as quick as I could. Thank you. Which was really cool. But I screwed that up, didn't I? So, uh, Haste makes waste, ain't that what Grandma always told us? But uh, I got on up there to the yard and got my paperwork done, dropped and hooked, ran into the office, dropped off my paperwork, asked the dispatch if he needed anything, he didn't. I said, uh, I'm leaving, you ain't no fun. So, and that's what I did, I left. Tried to aggravate one of the other dispatchers. He got a big old bowl of candy on his desk. And I just grabbed the whole bowl and he's like, all right, see ya. I'm like, that ain't no fun. Take your damn candy back. He said, well, what do you want me to do? I said, well, we could have wrestled or something. He goes, nah, I'm too old and fat. I can relate. Uh, got taken off. Got down there close to Fayetteville again. Those that know 49, uh, 540, whatever you want to call it, <coughs> you know where the tunnels is. Barely north of the tunnels, it was snowing. All the snow was south of it. And it didn't accumulate or nothing. It didn't even stick. Now, I'm going back down. It was 41 degrees, and it was still snowing. I'm like, what's up with this? First drop on this one is... Uh, Fort Smith, Arkansas, so I did get that one off. Then the next one is uh, Tyler, Texas. I made it within 44 miles. And I had about 20 minutes left on my clock. So I stopped here at the Midway Truck Stop. And uh, seen a dumbass parking over here. So I made a video for you on that one. Probably shouldn't have called him a dumbass, but when you park like that, you're not a genius. But I stopped here. I seen I was going to uh, be able to make the midway. Now, I made a video about this midway. And uh, pretty decent restaurant in there. I get here at 8 o'clock. They done closed. I done worked myself up to uh, being able to go in there and sit down, have a cigarette, have a home-cooked meal. That didn't work. So instead, I grabbed something out of the icebox. Just had me pork steaks and mashed taters and mushroom gravy. It's cream of mushroom, but that's beside the point. I love it for a gravy. Got a video about making that, too. you get it sooner or later. My son's got to do some work on both of those. The breakfast one, it, it turned out okay. Those two, my son's got to work on when he gets a chance. Uh, so I came back out of here and 
warm that up, sit back there and talk to a buddy of mine. He happened to call just as I was getting ready to eat. I just pulled it out of the microwave, so I talked to him while I was eating. And uh, posted that breakfast one. I just posted the one about uh, the parking. And in the 14 minutes that me and him was talking and I was eating, it done got 12 views. Thanks, folks. I got some of y'all, boy, as soon as I put a video out, you're watching it. That's, that's kind of cool. So, uh, I just did that sandwich one, breakfast sandwich. And now I'm doing this one. Uh, here in a little bit, I've got to take a little bit of time and work on some stuff for the radio show I spoke with James today and uh, he's really been doing a lot for that channel I gotta sit back so you can see me I guess rather laying on the steering wheel right now he is putting up several different ways that you can contact us on the talk show now I don't know if all of them are going to be a go on our first show Saturday night or not He's trying hard, and uh, I had told him that I have viewers all around the world, and I do. Last count was still 95 countries, and uh, I told him, I said, I'm hoping some of my Canadians or Australians or people out of the UK, I got a guy in Ireland that's made comments, I said, I'm hoping some of them will call, so... You need to have a worldwide way of folks calling in. And uh, he's been working on that. He's got a Skype deal going and uh, a phone line for around the world, which I guess you have to figure out what your country's code is. I know there's a whole bunch of numbers you got to do on that. It's not just a matter of picking up and dialing. But, uh, He's trying his best to get it where everybody around the world can call in if they so desire. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, it'd tickle me to death if some of my people overseas called. Now the show's gonna be the first one, and they're all gonna be at 9 o'clock. The first one's gonna be this coming Saturday, which is, uh, I think, the 18th. Yes. So, March the 18th, and it's going to be 9 o'clock Central Time, USA. Uh, if you're all over the world, I don't know what time that is for you. But, uh, and you got to remember, it's uh, nomadradio.xyz. I am excited to do this show. I think it's going to be fun. Uh... If y'all would, leave some topics that you would like for us to talk about. I know what I want to talk about Saturday night, but it's going to be live radio. Oh, and he's talking about doing a live stream thing, too, where uh, you can... He's hoping he's got a special deal going he's trying to put together, and that's part of what I have to work on where uh, you can watch us, which would just be a split screen with me and him. And uh, he's trying to do that deal. And then it will automatically upload to YouTube. Uh, which I guess we will have a Nomad Radio YouTube channel. I ain't sure. Y'all already know I'm not a techno geek at all. I might be a geek, but not a techno geek. So, uh, I have to still figure out how to do some of this other stuff to do what he was talking about. Uh, <clears throat> but anyhow, he's working his tail off on it. We uh, are doing our best to be on the air Saturday night or he's doing his best to have us on the air. He, uh, he drives evenings, and during the day when he gets up, that's when he's jamming on it. 
but uh, it's coming right along. He has quite a bit more stuff on the channel, on the website. So if you go to that nomadradio.xyz, then uh, it should take you in there and you can see our what he's got up so far, our webpage. Uh, please spread the word with folks. Let them know that we're trying to do this thing. He's going to have it where you can listen on the internet. There's a phone number you can dial up to just listen, or another phone number you can dial up to listen and call on talk and stuff like that. Please call in. I'm sure our listener count's going to be real low Saturday night. And uh, the whole purpose of this is for us to communicate. So, uh, if you don't hear us talking to somebody, call in. Help us out. You know? Call in. Have a little chat with us. Uh, if nothing else, just say howdy and congratulations. And we all know Papa Joe's a good looking rascal. So, uh, you can always say hi to the chick magnet. Uh, and one of my subscribers gave me that title. I didn't do it. So, you know, and I know none of my subscribers would lie, so I must be the chick magnet, the one and only. But, yeah, leave us uh, in the comments down there some subjects that you want to talk about. And if you do, when we start talking about them, call. Or just call and let's start talking about them. And uh, spread the word with everybody that you can about this radio show. Help us get it going. So, uh, other than that, it's just been a long day, a tiring day, and now I have to start playing with this technology stuff to get me ready for Saturday night. And I ain't got a clue what I'm doing. Wish me luck. Hey, y'all remember, God loves you, and so do I. Park right. If you're out here, even if you ain't out here, park right. You know, even if you're in the four wheeler, put it in the middle of the parking lot or in the, the parking spot. Don't be across the yellow lines and stuff. Don't park like that guy over there did. You know, it ain't that hard. Take an extra minute. If you have to back up and pull back in and get straight, well, do it. Come on. Y'all have a blessed evening now. God loves you. So do I. Good night.